Hi everybody, this is Nell Carrojo again and since I opened this Dialogs Evo file now, I'm going to create now the top 10 biggest mistakes that lighting designers do using the Dialogs Evo software. Okay, so let's start first with the first two. The first two that is so basic and so crazy. Okay, so let's go for the first one. So the top 10 basic mistakes that lighting designers do is number one is adding a lot of object. Okay, so I'm so guilty on this one. Like for example, in this Ford showroom, because this is a Ford showroom, so it's a car showroom. So when I run the calculation for this uh, project, I am so excited to also include all those cars from the Ford brands. So what I did is I go to SketchUp and then type the Ford and then I took all those crazy uh, cars and then add it in my design. Of course, I will not add those vintage one. I just added those uh, latest models and the famous one and a low file like 1 MB or 2 MB and that's it. So look at this one. You we actually we we don't really need to do it like we don't need to add those um cars i like this one this is a ford ranger yes we don't need to add all those cars because uh one model or two models is enough but if you are so excited and if you want to impress the client yes of course you can do that but make sure that you run the calculation first, achieve the lux value. Then after that, you can now add your uh, decorative objects. Because if you added those objects without calculating first, your computer will hang or it will slow down your computer. So better calculate first and then do the beautification or adding objects in your design. Okay, so that is one of the biggest mistake of a lighting designer. Actually, I also do it in my landscaping projects. I really overdo it, putting a lot of trees and bushes and flowers, and then until my computer hung. So run the calculation first, make sure you lay out all the luminaires, achieve the lux value. Then after that, save it, make sure you save it, and then add those objects if you want to. Okay, and then save it again in a separate file. So when uh, the original one or when you add the object and it got messed up, you still have the original one. Okay, so the next one is, so let's have the two right now. The next one is about the color. Yes, the color. Please, please, please. I, all, I am also guilty on this one because before when I used Dialux Evo and even the Dialux Regular, I added a lot of color until one of our architect clients is so pissed off with the colors or textures that I use in my lighting design. He said that it's not our materials. So why are you using it? <laughs> okay, so that's why avoid adding a lot of color, especially if you're not familiar with the materials or the texture that you, that the architect or the interior, interior designer is going to use even in the furnitures like this one avoid it just make it a uh, a formal one like black and white gray and that's it so yes if but for example like this one the facade or landscaping or a retail shop maybe you can add mm, yeah but um, make sure that it's not um, focusing on the texture, but should be focusing on the light, not on the texture. Okay, so be careful in using textures in your lighting design. Be <laughs> careful. Otherwise, you will destroy the design and the client will focus on the ugly texture that you used in your design instead of the luminaire or the light effect or the light value right so that is one of the two most crazy stupid things that a lighting designer made a mistake in dial in using dialux evo software one is over doing or adding 
objects and the other one is adding crazy and uh, unprofessional or wrong textures in the lighting design. Okay, so the suggestion is just go and make it black, white, and gray. Make it formal, not so crazy texture like this one. Although this one is so beautiful. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, so tomorrow I will add two more of these crazy things that a lighting designer's mistakes using the Dialogs Evo software. So, yep. Okay, don't forget to check my Udemy courses and also... Uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you again tomorrow.